Hi, um, we're gonna do a collaborative video and talk about boredom. Um, and we have a little bit to read from To Have or To Be, and then we'll talk about what we've taken away from the class and what we've been talking about. Um, so this is from the uh, Joy and Pleasure section, and it says, um, <clears throat> Pleasure and thrill are conductive to conducive to sadness after the so-called peak has been reached. For the thrill has been experienced, but the vessel has not grown. One's inner powers have not increased. One has made the attempt to break through the boredom of unproductive activity and for a moment has unified all one's energies, except reason and love. One has attempted to become superhuman with, with, without being human. One seems to have succeeded to the moment of triumph, but the triumph is followed by deep sadness because nothing has changed within oneself. And, um... We chose the section on boredom because, well, and we want to talk about boredom because I feel like we've been kind of experiencing a lot in our own lives, um, just with other people, um, and in myself too. I find myself saying I'm bored, even though I do have things, things you I could, could be doing. Could be doing. I should be doing. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Um, but that... But then when we say that we're bored, we have this constant need for stimulus. And we were talking about in that video that we watched about addiction and about how it kind of takes over the frontal lobe. And um, I feel like when we strive for something, some sort of stimulus, what we're trying to replace our boredom with are things that are not productive, like uh, like Fromm was saying. Um, they're just kind of meaningless, um, meaningless tasks or just things to take up time, like um, creating drama or just something like that. That kind of takes over yourself and isn't isn't doing anything for you, mm -hmm. um, isn't helping you as a person, isn't being it's not productive right. to your life. Very true. Um, this day and age, people feel like they need to be doing something all the time. So it's like how we were talking about um, people who are workaholics who are just trying to fill their time with stuff. It, it people can't really just sit down and just sit there anymore chill yeah they can't chill anymore because that's boring and mm. it's not stimulating their frontal lobe <laughs> so I feel like people at school I've noticed are not content with just you know reflecting on their day or exactly they're they have to create problems and try to create some some sort of stimulating event or something. Or drama. Or and drama to want to drag me into it. I don't want to be a part of that really. Yeah. Because it, it it's not it's not it doesn't help anything. No. It's not necessary and um I feel like knowing this stuff has kind of made it be both better and worse. But I feel like a lot of ways it's made it more difficult for me. Because now I know all this stuff and I can see it more and it's easier to pick out. Yeah. But then it also makes it better because I like being aware of it. Like, um, I mean, before I thought, I just thought it was dumb, but now I guess I have some sort of, there's some sort of reasoning behind it. But I mean, it still really frustrates. It is. A person. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I know we, we were talking about how that's the easiest response, but I still have it. <laughs> yeah, I, I am still guilty. <laughs> Even of though I know more. this stuff. Like, I'm aware of it, but I still do it. So I need to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I mean, rather than rather than bagging someone over and then being like, I'm bored, I want to be able to, like, I don't know, have a conversation or just chill, chill out. I feel like I can do that with you. Yeah. You come over and do nothing. <laughs> it's usually what ends up happening. <laughs> well, not nothing. I'd say it, I'd say it's somewhat productive. Like we're making our video. True, we are. And or we have we have we have pro we have productive conversation mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think at Starbucks. So. At Starbucks. <laughs> but so yeah, even though you know it, it still happens. But. So. And like we were saying, there's no real way of preventing it. And it's not going to, the go class away. isn't going to make it easier for you. And it's not going to go away. <sighs> but, yeah. Yeah. And um, that's all I have to say. Same here. Bye. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
It makes me feel better that we can cut stuff out. <laughs> like, people, like, with... <laughs> I feel like our beggar. What? <laughs> We're making a video. Me and Anne yelling. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> and my, even my relationship with my mom, mm -hmm. I feel like it's better. What? You're not making a porno, are you? No, Phoebe's not here. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh.